I was reminded this morning of the, the concept of bhakti and shakti. And I've talked about bhakti in the myonic science perspective, but um, consciousness, Brahman, conceals its nature by manifesting itself uh, in an infinite variety of beings, infinite variety of things and beings. And on the stage of this universe, it loses itself in the drama of life. Consciousness loses itself in the drama of life. Then, by its own sweet will, it reveals its truth. It reveals its true nature and elevates itself again to the state of Brahman through us. So it loses itself through us and through all of the creation, the manifestation. And then it reveals itself, its true nature, through us. Why does this happen? Brahman's love of its own beauty, which is the beauty is infinite potential. That's the beauty. Brahman loves all the innumerable qualities that it contains, innumerable vibrations, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the sublime. So how does this happen? How does this happen? Well, Brahman, God, divinity, whatever you want to call it, goes through the manifestation process and differentiates itself, separates its innumerable qualities, and becomes innumerable material form with um, indi individuated qualities. This is called Maya. What is Maya? We hear all over the place about, oh, it's Maya. Nothing, this world is nothing but Maya. And we immediately think, oh, it's illusion. And it's kind of a denigration of the world when we say, oh, it's nothing but Maya. This world's Maya, illusion. What is Maya really? What does the word mean? What is the original meaning of this word? You might be surprised. Ma means measured, measure or measured, measured out, displayed. Ma, Manasara, Manasutra, Ma, measured or measured, displayed, something displayed. What is displayed? Ya. What is ya? Ya is the goer, the mover, going, moving, expressing through movement. So we have measured, moving. What is ma may, my, M-A-Y? It means to hide, to hide. So we have measured, displaying, moving, expressing, and hiding. Maya is therefore the movement of measured impulses of consciousness in which its true nature, bliss, becomes hidden. The consciousness itself is hidden in the expression in order for Brahman to see the individuated qualities of itself. It must hide itself and then reveal itself. So Brahman manifests itself and hides its full nature in its creation, in its manifestation. This is such a beautiful understanding. 
So over time, and, and, and we know, we know that from the de de definition, what is it's hiding? What self is it's hiding? It's hiding measured displays, impulses, frequencies, moving frequencies. <laughs> how how does Bra Brahman achieve this experience of itself, its own wholeness? It achieves it by revealing itself to itself. But how? In the creation. Brahman can experience itself through human forms, through the form in the human that is in fact itself. What is that in the human that is in fact itself? The Atman residing within the human cave of the heart. This Atman contains a form and vibrating thread which is an expression of the giant cosmic form and thread known as Brahman. Most texts speak of manifestation, the divine as Brahman, Nataraja, Shiva, etc. all male aspects. Dr. Stapati once said that the ancient Vishwakarmas worshiped Shakti, so the feminine. So I'm, I've looked into this a little bit. They worshiped Shakti as goddess, as pure awareness, awareness itself, the divine mother. Shakti is seen as the fundamental nature of all the deities, pure awareness, consciousness. We have the form, forms of Shakti, or we have forms of Shakti called Parashakti, Maya Shakti, Maya Kala. All of these are nuances of that same. Shakti is awareness itself. It is awareness as pure vibrating energy with differing, differing aspects. Maya Shakti is the group of shaktis or energies that prevail in the human body and form the multitude of individuated qualities, all forms of manifest world. Maha Shakti or Mahadevi is the singular shakti or energy or awareness responsible for the manifestation of all forms. This is the Shakti or energy or whole consciousness that resides in the Atman and becomes known when we have a crack in consciousness or an opening of the Atman, an opening of our awareness. When this happens, <coughs> we call that form of Shakti Maha Shakti. So Maha Shakti is the great awareness our limited awareness becoming the great awareness, the individual knowing its whole self. We call this Maha Shakti because she holds everything within herself, including Kala or, or co cosmic time or pulse. She holds cosmic time and pulse rhythm within herself. Maha Shakti or Parashakti brings about the dissolution of the small I. In other words, the small individuated I becomes dissolved or overshadowed by the wholeness of cosmic awareness. Hence, we have the inner experience of oneness. 
we think that something arises and something is maintained and, dis and the dissolved or goes into dissolution. This is only a metaphor because nothing arises, is maintained or dissolves. Everything is simply the vibration of pure consciousness, pure energy within the body of the universal consciousness. Now we have the good fortune to know Vastu and the concept of bhakti is described by Mayan. When in a Vastu structure, we attain bhakti or resonance with the divine mulastan or cosmic Brahma Sutra, our internal Brahma Sutra vibrates with a cosmic Brahma Sutra activated by the proper Vastu building. When this resonance happens, our inner thread is elevated. Then Shakti moves, inspires, and awakens more bhakti. This awakening of Shakti happens from the inside out. Only from the inside out. Vibration, the spanda, and movement of Shakti within our Atman causes an expansion, which we metaphorically say creates a cat crack in the egg of consciousness. A crack in the egg of consciousness. That crack in consciousness allows light vibrating ohm light to stream out through the crack and to spread throughout our emotions, our body and our mind. This elevates our awareness. Remember, this only happens from the inside out. In life, we have ups and downs. When this happens, as it happens, when we are in deep despair, we give up. We can't go on. In that deep despair, we surrender. We must come to a place of surrender because the pain is too great. And all we can do is let go. That deep surrender is a magnificent gift which brings us the grace of God, goddess. We just, our, our first thought is to go out and do something or see somebody or some, get out of this pain and get out of the pain. So we go out looking. <clears throat> but really what is needed is to surrender. All we can do is let go. That deep surrender is such a magnificent gift, which brings us the grace of God, goddess. In that state of total surrender, we have a crack in consciousness, an opening in our Atman, through which the light begins to shine, to move. <coughs> That light is Shakti, Parashakti, Goddess Shakti. She begins to seep out of the Atman and begins to penetrate our mind and body. <coughs> she is awareness itself, light. So our own individuated awareness becomes overshadowed by pure awareness, our pain becomes overshadowed by the bliss of light. The name for this event is called Shakti Pot. This is the real meaning of Shakti Pot. It cannot be given by another person. It only comes by the grace of goddess. Complete surrender to pure knowledge does the same thing. In class, when you surrender to the lecture and suspend yourself 
your questions, your belief, your ideas. Then the crack in consciousness happens. You feel a warmth inside your chest. You feel a movement. You feel a contentment, a happiness. Why? Because you're studying Vastu and Vastu. Energy, energy, pure energy, and energized matter. We are studying the goddess Shakti. <laughs> Para Shakti is activated when the Maya Shakti is energized. We can now understand the real meaning of Shakti Pop and the role of Bhakti in causing the arisal of Shakti. Shakti and Bhakti. A symbiotic relationship. Mayan speaks um, in terms of Vastu Purusha. Can we say that Shakti is Vastu Purusha? Shakti is Vastu Purusha as awareness. The question arises then, who is the source of Shakti? The mover of Shakti? We know the answer. It's consciousness itself. This is the relationship between bhakti and shakti and what true shakti pot is, the real meaning of shakti pot. Surrender. <laughs>